Hi guys, it's Megan. So it's been a while since I talked to you, eh, talked to you guys, and the last video I put up was like kind of like, "Hey, how you doing? What's up? I have a brain tumor," and I never really. That was a while ago. Like that was my surgery was March sixth, so I think that was March fifth, or that might have been the morning of March sixth. I'm not really sure. Um, well, yeah, I don't remember. But it's been a while because this is the end of May. And I hadn't updated you guys, and some of you guys have been um, sending me emails and saying things on Instagram and everything. So I just thought I would do a video, a video and update you guys on um, what's. Oh my gosh, that is the most annoying thing ever. On what is going on, and um, so yeah. Well, I told you we didn't know if uh, you know if it was just a tumor, if it was. Malignant or benign, which is malignant is cancerous, um, benign is not, right? Yeah. <laughs> I probably just got that mixed up. I really don't know. <clears throat> um, but it came back. I do have brain cancer. I actually have, it's called um, geoblastoma multiform, and I'll like write down the name of it in the bottom bar in case you guys are like interested or you know someone or you know whatever. If you want to just know more information about it, I'll put it down below. Um, it's mainly a cancer that like people that are it's men mainly found in men first off and it's like 50 to 70 years old like, it's not found normally in younger people um it's not really found typically in females either oh i don't know what that was <laughs> so yeah um but if most of you guys know that i live in arkansas and after we found out like the guy told us that it was cancer and he kind of here in my um, hometown where i'm from he kind of like hung his head he wasn't real positive we were all bawling in the room like he just made it seem like you got you know three months to live and you're out so you know figure it out like he was not positive at all um <clears throat> he was just basically like i've never seen it in anyone younger than 37 or something like that so he he didn't know anything about it he wasn't positive and it's just it's not where we wanted to be with it so as soon as we got home my mom started um, researching and um, we've seen commercials and stuff about ctca which is cancer treatment centers of america and um there's quite a few of them around but the closest one to us was in tulsa oklahoma it's tulsa's probably under two hours away um and also it was convenient because that's like different ones like how i said there was a couple of them different the different ones that are in different towns focus on different things so the one in tulsa actually focuses more on um the brain cancer something to do with right here she told me like i think esophagus uh throat cancer things like that um and stomach cancer is really what it mainly focuses on and so that was convenient because like i said i have brain cancer um <clears throat> so yeah we did that um, so that's where I'm going, and I, the doctors there, if you know anyone that's, you come across this video because you have cancer, or you're, you know, whatever, you know someone, um, Cancer Center, Cancer Treatment Center of, of America is by far the most amazing place I've ever been in, um, everybody is just so extremely nice, and I feel comfortable there, like, you can't tell right now, probably not, maybe a little bit, but like, like in the back, I have a big bald spot, because I'm getting radiation. And then, like, I've a, I've got it kind of covered, but I have a big bald spot right here. And with radiation and chemo, you lose your hair. Some people don't, but um, I definitely am. And there's, like, a big... I barely really have any hair left over here. I mean, not much besides this kind of top layer. <clears throat> and... it, But it doesn't matter to me there. Like, I feel so comfortable. I can have my hair just down. And, you know, my bald spots are showing. My scars are showing. And I don't care. I feel so comfortable there and like I can't I went to Buffalo Wild Wings a couple days ago I guess like two weekends ago actually for my cousin's birthday and I felt so uncomfortable because like all these people were looking at me and of course they're looking at my head and, like I feel like I have scabies or something like that like, I don't know because I don't even really know what that is so that whatever but I, you know what I mean like I just felt so uncomfortable and I feel like everyone's staring at me and I don't like it but at CTCA I mean I just feel like I'm at home so uh been there for five weeks how it works is we live so close so I <clears throat> do my treatments Monday through Friday, and we come home on the weekends, and this is Memorial Day today, uh, so we have a short week, it's Tuesday through Friday, and this is actually my last week, I had 33 rounds of radiation, and if you guys want me to, like, go into further detail about that, like, you know, especially, like, radiation, chemo, I'm taking chemo by pills, I don't have a port, um, so I don't get, like, the IV infusion or anything like that, 
but I think it can be really helpful because whenever, you know, I've always heard of cancer, but I never really knew anything about it. Like, I didn't really know that you could take chemo by pills. I didn't know if radiation hurt. I didn't know how they do things and stuff like that. So, um, definitely, if you guys want me to go in detail by detail, like, you know, whatever videos you want to see stuff on, I can really do that because, I mean, I think that that would be pretty interesting. Um, especially if you want me to go into more detail about the, like, the kind of cancer that I have. So, yeah. But, yeah, um, and it's weird, you're probably going to be like, oh, you seem so upbeat and happy. No, I mean, I feel, like, it's so funny, I feel like the exact same person that I was. I don't feel any different at all. Um, and that's what's weird about it, is, like, I go to all these things and, you know, different checkups and stuff while I'm there, and they ask you these whole list of questions to make sure nothing's changed since last time you've seen them. You know, like, blah, 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 is this changed, this changed, and you're just like, no, 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 no. And I'm like, I'm always like, I'm a spring chicken. Like, that's what I tell them. I'm always like, oh, I'm a spring chicken. Like, I don't... I don't feel sick, I don't think I really look sick, I don't, you know, whatever, so it's kind of weird to think that, oh, I have brain cancer because I don't feel like I have cancer, you know what I mean, like, you know, you see some people that are walking around that have really just, you know, it's terrible, but have really just lost a lot of weight, they can't hold anything down, I mean, you can just tell that they're sick, you know what I mean, and that's so sad, but whenever someone looks at me, that's the last thing that they would think, I think, because, you know, and if you guys know, I lost a whole bunch of weight, um, after my divorce, I lost like 50 something pounds. Um, but then with the tumor, yeah, with the tumor and everything that I had, I had to get, get on steroids and I had a really high dose of steroids at first and that's what's causing all this breakout. I mean, it was way worse. It was my entire face. Like I never had that much breakouts. My total chest, my back, shoulders, like I thought I had like an allergic reaction, but it was actually steroids. And I've been on those since February 19th. And so they built so much up in my system. Like, they're trying to, like, wean... I can't ever... They don't know if they can ever take me completely off of them. But they're trying to wean me down. Um, because it causes swelling. Like, I have a lot of swollenness. Like, I haven't... Like, I look like I can't gain more weight back than I really have. Because I'm swollen all the time. My face is more swollen. Just my body in general is swollen. Um, so it's really rather annoying to have lost all that weight. And, you know, been like, oh, yay. And then, like basically to look like you gained most of it back so it's really kind of irritating but whatever um so yeah I think that that was all that I was going to say on that um but yeah so treatments are fixing to be over and hopefully I want to get back to doing videos I know I always say that um but like a lot's changed and I think that now I could possibly have a bigger community to reach out to and talk to. So that's kind of interesting to me. Um, so, yeah. And, again, if you guys have any questions, leave them below. Email me or inbox me, whatever. I have an Instagram. I need to keep it up because, like, I'm touch, I'm a total slacker. Like, I really am. Because I'm like, well, if no one's if I'm not putting videos out, then no one's probably looking at my Instagram. Then no one wants to see me put things on. Cause, you know what I mean? So I just, if I quit one thing, I normally quit it all. Um... But I really want to start doing it again because, like, this has kind of got me to be... Because I already do this, you know what I mean? I do this YouTube stuff where I can't see you guys, but I'm speaking to you guys. And then I also did um, speech class and kind of debate stuff in school. So this has kind of really got me interested in, like, um, maybe motivational speaking and stuff like that. Because I haven't ever let it get me down. And don't get me wrong, I've had days where I've just broke down and cried for like 30 minutes and I think that's fine allow yourself to be sad you have cancer you know what I mean like it's okay but then remember that you know cancer doesn't define you and you can beat this and you can go on so I just I don't know it's it's really kind of inspired me you know what I mean to just show people that you don't have to get down in the dumps because as soon as people get negative as soon as they give up that's when you know bad things start to happen they're system starts falling down and stuff like that and you know what like I said I've gained weight and I hate it personally because I liked how I look once I lost all the weight but they're like they're like go oh, keep gaining weight blah 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 and they're like have you ever you know like the people that you normally see that are dying from cancer are normally the ones that are just literally look like they're withering away like they've lost so much weight and everything like that so like they're not telling me I'll oh, gain a whole bunch of weight no they don't want me to do that but they don't want me to just drop a whole bunch of weight either <clears throat> 
So, like, if I like, just stay the same or whatever, they're just like, yeah, it's good, you know, it's good. You're Because, you know, if you have an appetite and you have this, that, and the other, or at least if you don't have an appetite, you make yourself keep eating, that's good. Because as soon as you quit, you know, your immune system starts, you know, going out of whack and all kinds of stuff. So, yeah. <clears throat> Ooh, I'm getting on a long tangent and everything. But I'm telling you, I'm, like, sitting in my mom's bathroom. Awkward. On this little stool. You can't see it, but I had to buy it whenever I first got out of the hospital. And that would be a good video, too. Tell you what all I went through in there, because I was in there 10 days and ended up having to have two brain surgeries. Had emergency brain surgery the second time. This stuff kind of went... Yeah, but anyways. Um, and Daisy Couture, you're probably not even watching this, because probably you... Yeah, I still watch your videos, and I love you. I know you're from freaking Oklahoma, and I'm like, girl... Whatever, I wasn't like that. But I was like, you know what? I wish that I kind of would have kept doing YouTube and kind of kept, like, chit-chatting with her every once in a while. Because I know she lives in Oklahoma. I don't exactly know where. It's probably, like, around either Oklahoma City or Tulsa or you know, somewhere around there, I would assume. I don't know. Um, <clears throat> maybe in between. But I was like, oh, it would be so cool to, like, go hang out there. Never going to happen. I get that. But I was just like, that's cool. Like, we always lived, you know, one state from each other. But now I'm like, we're right there. But it's okay. That's probably that. Is that total creeper status? Probably. I just really like her. I found her when she had like so many little subscribers and then now she has a lot more. I think that's really interesting. I'm getting off. Okay, seriously, the brain stuff is totally made. I have like ADD now. Like I'm like, do, 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 all the time, but whatever. Like, uh, let me just finish saying what I'm saying. Like, 11th Gorgeous. Like, now they're huge. They have like 300,000 something subscribers. When I started watching them, they didn't even have. Nowhere near half that. Like, they weren't even over 50,000, I don't think. Like, at all. And then, like, uh... Who else? Um... Oh, Marissa Lace. Love her. Seriously. No. She... I think she has, like, 30,000 subscribers now. She seriously had, like, maybe 1,500. 1,500 to 3,000 when I started watching her. So, I think that's cool, like, to really start watching someone and all of a sudden they just, like, have so much more subscribers than you ever would have thought. I don't know. I think that's cool. Well, I totally don't have any makeup on today, either. I wasn't thinking about that. But I was like, whatever. You know? Okay, I'm totally gonna... I'm gonna quit talking now, I promise. Because it's been 12 minutes and 20 seconds. So I need to just shut up. So again, <sighs> comment, you know, whatever down below. Ask questions, because I know... I mean, if you have questions, I'm not like, oh, you know, mm, But I'm just saying, like... I'm gonna be quiet. Promise. Alright, so I'm going to get off here, guys, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.